All right, guys, what's up? It is Coffee with Ken. I've got kind of an interesting episode today and uh, wanted to have the coffee here. Wanted to talk about um, something that has come across my radar, come across uh, some of the agents um, that I know, their radar, and uh, it kind of affects you if you're thinking about making a purchase or if you're thinking about selling your house. Uh, this is... Uh, something that you may have some interest in. So I wanna talk about it real quick, and I know it might be a little bit of a topic of, um, we're gonna probably have a discussion on this. So if you have any questions, please, sold at KenParkin.com, DM uh, me if you're watching this on Instagram, if you're on Facebook, you can leave a comment below. If you're on YouTube, you can also leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Purple Bricks, I don't know if you've ever heard of this company. Um, they bought, Com free in uh, in Canada in Ontario at least, and um, they are basically a do-it-yourselfer real estate um, for sale by owner company. Purple Bricks has taken Com free, which was uh, one of the older ah, old school kind of uh, for sale by owner companies, and bought it, and now is trying to integrate a lot more technology. Really what you can do is you can take uh, your home, put it on the market. Purple Bricks is technically a real estate brokerage um, and pay them a flat fee for using their services. Now, I have a major issue with Purple Bricks and how they are doing their advertising, specifically on TV and online. They're advertising no commission. Um, great, no problem. If you're a for sale by owner and you do not wanna pay commission, you can put your home on MLS and you can pay zero commission. In fact, I think you gotta pay 0 0.01 cent uh, by law. Um, I could be wrong on that, but that's what I see sometimes. So, what does this mean? This means that you should be able to put your home for sale on MLS and sell it for free, right? Not necessarily. So you're gonna pay them a flat fee. And actually, I've printed out exactly what their fees are. Um, which is right here. So with Purple Bricks, you can list with their package, their, their home listing package for $7.99. You get some photos, uh, you get to know what your home is kind of worth, and then uh, boom, it's on MLS. You're responsible for showings, you are responsible for offers, you are responsible for the entire process. Sounds pretty easy, right? Not really, but uh, if you want to add another 400 bucks, $3.99, uh, I got this off the Hamilton Spectator website, so if this is wrong, I'm sourcing them. Um, if you pay uh, the $399, $499, uh, sorry, $399, $400 in advance, they will also handle showings. So instead of someone calling you and saying, hey, I wanna come take a look at your house, or having 50 realtors say that they have a buyer, which they don't, they just wanna come and see your property because they're thinking that maybe if you don't sell it, they may list with you. Um, instead of all that, Purple Bricks is gonna handle all of the showings. Cool. Um, to add another $1,000, basically they will cover the negotiations and paperwork for you, kind of like a back-end admin. Um, so in total, that's $2,197. Let's call it $2,200 for easy math. Now, what they don't talk about in their commercials, you know, the flat fee, you know, sell your home for free kind of commercials that you've seen, the purple brick with the guy smashing his head into the clay, feel bad for that actor, regardless, um, is they actually recommend on their website that you should pay the buyer agent two and a half percent. Number one, number two, another major issue I have is that they say the average commission is 5%. Ladies and gentlemen, there are there is no such thing as an average commission. Trust me when I say this, when I'm showing houses to potential buyers, the commission that I get paid ranges significantly from house to house. Just as importantly to note that when a realtor is going in and negotiating commission to list your home for sale, it's negotiable. If they wanna charge you 10% and you agree to it, that's totally fine and legal. If they wanna charge you 1% and then try and figure out how to pay the buyer brokerage of that, that is legal too. So commission is negotiable, it is always negotiable, and uh, you should be able to find value within whoever you're hiring, whether it's Purple Bricks or a realtor like me, to pay the commission that you feel comfortable paying and that, you're, that you feel like you're getting value from. Getting back to this 
article, um, there's a lot of misleading things with Purple Bricks and their advertising. Um, so you're not always paying a flat fee, you're actually paying a flat fee plus what they recommend, two and a half percent to the buyer agent, which you're realistically saving between, um, and if I, had to, if I had to break down the numbers, you're, you're probably saving four or $5,000 on average when it comes to a real estate transaction. Sounds great, but you in effect are doing all of the work. So depending on what your time is worth, and if you can do what you know we do, then save yourself the $5,000 or more or less and do the work yourself. I know if I have an issue with my car um, or a toothache or something that I don't know how to do, I go and visit a professional and I pay them what they're worth to make sure that my car runs properly, my tooth doesn't hurt anymore. So something to think about with Purple Bricks, but um, they are losing market share, number one, and their stocks, uh, their stock value is going down. Now, this isn't a slight on Purple Bricks. I wish them luck. I think that any company that wants to come in and try and disrupt a industry is more than welcome to do so. And sometimes it works, and a lot of times it doesn't. At the end of the day, the real estate business is a person-to-person -person business. We deal with relationships all day long. And if we can't provide value to you, the end consumer, then you deserve to go and find something of value that is a lot better than what's on the marketplace. Generally speaking, our industry has seen a lot of people come to uh, come into it. And a lot of people, one, aren't business people, uh, so they don't do a lot of deals. Two, um, and when I say they don't do a lot of deals, the majority of real estate, I can't say majority, I don't have the stats in front of me, but a significant amount don't do a deal a year. Uh, a lot of people have their license and don't do any deals. Um, but number two, they don't run it like a business. They think business is just gonna come to them and that the, you know, they're, they're gonna be able to do hundreds of deals and make millions of dollars, like furthest from the truth. So real estate agents, mortgage brokers, um, <clears throat> anybody in the service business, we've had a lot of people make the business not look so good. There's a lot of great agents out there, a lot of them, and you probably know two or three. So if you're thinking about making a move, make sure you talk to those agents. Make sure you get somebody that you know, like, and trust, and sit down and have a chat with them about real estate. I'm hoping I can be that agent for you, but I, and I would love that opportunity. But back to this uh, article, the CEO, CEO, uh, Chief Executive Officer, CEO. Michael Bruce is leaving the company 5% down. It's down across the board in a lot of different uh, marketplaces. Uh, so we're seeing technology companies and another one is, is uh, Redfin. They're making a major push into the Toronto market specifically. Uh, they charge 1% commission on each sale. They pay out two and a half. They're paying three and a half percent of a, if you're a seller. And the traditional agent will charge three and a half, four, four and a half, five, and even more depending on what's involved. So Redfin is another uh, example similar to Purple Bricks, but the reality is um, they're more of a traditional agent in terms of what they charge versus what they actually uh, um, perform in terms of services. Bottom line is this, I'm gonna sum it up. We're gonna see a lot of technology coming in the next, um, months and coming years and i think it's fantastic i think a lot of people live on social media um, unfortunately or fortunately but a lot of us use and live on social media so if we as real estate agents can evolve to become better at where you are and to advertise your home to where every buyer is then you shouldn't hire us this is the bottom line but there's a lot of us that are very good at it. A lot of us who understand social media, understand how to run advertising, understand how to put your home in front of exactly where the right buyer is gonna be. And for that, because we're going to get you a better price and probably sell your home quickly and you know for top dollar, um, we should be fairly compensated. And that fair compensation is up to you to decide with us, the real estate agent, what you feel we're worth. 
if we can't justify what we think we're worth, we're not worth it. And that's the bottom line. I'm gonna end it on that. Coffee with Ken, I try to come at you once or twice a week. Thank you for watching. Go out and have yourself an amazing day.